What's the fastest you've ever written a full screenplay? The fastest I've ever written a full screenplay was about three and a half weeks. And that was writing about four hours a day. And on the road trip that I went on figuring out where I was going to move when I knew that I was gonna leave Atlanta and pursue screenwriting, I was lucky enough that a friend offered his family's cabin just outside of Reno. He said, no, one is, no one's there right now. If you wanna stop by and visit, wow. you can use it as a, as a sort of a waypoint. Nice. And my girlfriend and I ended up stopping by and we had just been so exhausted from the trip and so we ended up staying there for about three weeks. So with, with his permission, we said, hey, we think we wanna like just kinda sit for a while. I wanna focus on a screenplay idea that I have and can we just kind of take this as almost a, almost a month of a retreat? And that is the only thing I did for those three and a half weeks. That's the only thing I thought of. I was writing, I would get up, I would write for two hours, have lunch, write for another two hours, have dinner, or something in that order, but uh, no casinos. No, no casinos. <laughs> no, I would, get, I would get up. I would write, have lunch. I would write. I would read a screenplay, have dinner, and then I would watch a movie. And both the screenplays that I was reading in the evening and the movie, I had picked as something that was I wanted to either examine, um, craft-wise or thematically, was similar enough to the story I was writing. So I was just in that mode all day, nonstop. And I just wrote that screenplay in, in about three and a half weeks. And I haven't changed too much of it since. I did a, a little bit of rewriting, but most of that came out of that extremely focused work. And I don't know a time in my life that I've had that sort of freedom to just create something that is just purely for me with no considerations for, for, for job or whatever. It was just, that was all I was doing. I was essentially paying myself to do that. Um, and it was great. It was really fantastic. What time of year was that in Reno? Um, was it winter or no? This was in September. Okay. So the, the weather was nice. Mm -hmm. um, I, was, I was doing that six days a week, and then one day was uh, we would do a day trip. We'd go, we went and we hiked in Tahoe. Nice. We like, um, hiked some stuff around Reno. So. It was six days of focused uh, work and then one day to take advantage of where we were. Did the film get made? Nope. Okay, it's still. Do you think you'll ever have it made? Um, or it was an experiment? It was an experiment. I wanted to try and, I wanted to write something contained. And I thought maybe if I wrote something contained, it could also be a stage play. And so right now the film kind of exists in this uncanny valley between stage and screen and is neither a good, it's not really a good fit for either. So I think if I wanted to seriously pursue it, I would have to really examine, is this something I wanna see on screen or do I want to make it a stage play? And make some craft decisions uh, from that perspective. Sounds like though it was a good lesson in, in discipline, not that it sounds like you, you are very disciplined anyway, but to really like, and you're in a strange place where you want to explore, there's lots mm -hmm. to do in Reno. Yeah. Um, some of it's good, some of it's not <laughs> yeah. so good. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, you know what I'm saying? And, and so it was a lesson in discipline, like can I do this? Yeah, and that was the first time that I, that was the first time that I wrote something on spec in a serious way. I'd kind of written my own stuff before, but I'd not in any real capacity, even if, it, even if that's just for my own sort of mental state. This is the first time I said, I'm gonna try and write something and at the end of this, I'm gonna try to give it to people to show that I can screenwrite. Um, and everyone that I've shown it to and we, we uh, said, it, great characters, great story, but I don't quite know where this belongs, uh, but good writing. And so I, I moved on to other projects since, but 
uh, we, we were talking about validation earlier, and that was another time when I got some validation on uh, a project of mine, even though it wasn't great. It was good enough that people were seemed to be surprised by how, oh, you're, you, you can write, you're actually pretty good. We always hear that sort of the romantic notion of, oh, I'm gonna you know, go away and write the great American novel or whatever it is, screenplay, and then too many things distract you and get in the way. And so I think just as a, as a mere test of, can you keep that commitment to yourself? Mm -hmm. That's excellent, that's pretty cool. Yeah, when there's, when there's nothing else going on, yeah, it's, it's, it's like the greatest thing in the world to just sit down and just continue to write your story. But, uh, you know, that for me, uh, where I am right now, that's not a sustainable lifestyle. And I, that's completely focusing on the uh, craft of screenwriting. And com I was completely ignoring, of course, all the, the career side of screenwriting, of uh, calls and emails and relationships and everything. So even that, as much as I might want to do that, even if I had the money to do it, I don't think I'd be able to sustain a career doing that because you have to do all the other things that it requires to make a career in screenwriting. And a lot of that is relationships. 